Hey guys, I look a little bit different right now. I'm actually in New York City and I'm getting ready for a really big, exciting appointment at the Miss Universe organization at their headquarters in New York. And so I thought that I would do a little video showing you guys how I get ready for appearances and events as Miss Pennsylvania USA. So I've already started and pin curled my whole head and I've put primer on my face. So this one is Fenty and it's the Fenty Beauty Primer. First step that I do is brows. So I brush through and kind of go up and outward. Then I'm actually gonna take the Naked palette from Urban Decay and I'm gonna use this colored buck. I've obviously used it a lot and I'm gonna use it to fill in my brows. And I make somewhat of a straight line shaping my brow underneath and then fill in with little brush strips. And then I'm gonna take this little concealer brush and this concealer is Be Bright from Professional. I don't know, I'm probably saying so many things wrong, but it's in the shade Fair. Take a little bit on the brush here and go right underneath my eyebrow to kind of sculpt them a little bit more. Next thing I do, I swear by this, it's the Ink Pot from MAC in Soft Ochre. That's how you say that? So I take a little bit of this and I prep my entire eye with it. And then I put a little bit underneath my eye too because I put some shadow down there as well. Next, I'm gonna start on my eyeshadow. Today, I'm gonna use the Tarte Breeze palette, I guess that's, yeah, that's what that says. I'm gonna start with this, this like pinky blush color, Wink. I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. Next, I am going to put this middle color. It's called First Kiss and I'm gonna put that in my crease and work it upward. And then I'm gonna take that same color and put it right underneath my eye. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am using a MAC 217 brush, fluffy brush. I'm taking the same brush and I'm gonna use this darker color, this darker brown called Heartbreaker. And I'm gonna put it in the crease but not go as high as I did with the first color. Now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before with the lighter color. Use this darker color and go underneath my eye as well. Next, I'm going to use this Morphe brush. Um, it's M149 and it just has a very small, um, it can be like those makeup blotters. And it has just a really small tip, so it's good for the crease. And I'm gonna take this like mauve color, it's called BFF, and I'm just gonna go very lightly in the crease here and on the outer lid here, and then right underneath here, it's like a three, like one, two, three. And then before I do anything else, I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush from before and just blend all those colors together. I'm gonna take this light color called Whisper and I'm just gonna rub it on my finger and then highlight my crease. Did I say highlight my crease? I mean highlight my brow, my brow bone. Not a makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the last color I'm gonna take is this one here. It's shiny and it's called Crush. Again, I'm gonna put that on my finger and I'm just gonna put it on my lid right here. Okay, this definitely needs sharpened, but it is the classic eye powder pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to line my lids and I'm gonna get as close to my lashes as I possibly can from the inner corner to the outer part of my lid. 
Moving on to foundation, I am using the Fenty Beauty Foundation and it's in shade 190. And I'm gonna use this foundation brush from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And it's number JH03. And then what I do is I put it right on the brush. I usually dab because then that gets more into your skin and it looks better. I don't know. <laughs> um, but then I also kind of use it around too. I'm also going to blend it into my neck so that I don't have a harsh foundation line. And then that just makes the whole look blend really nicely and look natural because natural is important. Even though we're doing makeup right now, let's talk about natural beauty. You don't need makeup to look beautiful. You should feel just as confident with a full face of makeup as you do with no makeup and a ball cap on going to the grocery store because makeup is just here to play with and enhance what you naturally have. We don't wanna change anything because what you have is already beautiful. It makes you who you are and it makes you unique. And so for me, it's just about enhancing what's already there. Okay, moving on. We're going back to that same concealer that I used before and I'm going to basically paint war paint on my face and I'm gonna do a few dabs under here, bridge of my nose to highlight right here on my forehead, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Is that what, it, is that what that's called? Sure, we'll go with it. Now I look like I'm off to war. Then I'm gonna take Oh Lord, I don't know how to pronounce this. Bellium Tools 788. <laughs> and I'm going to dab all of that concealer in. Now I want all of that to stay where it is for the day and not necessarily look shiny and oily. So this is Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and gets the job done. Put a little bit in the cap from my brush and then tap the excess off. And then I'm just gonna dab this powder all over where I just put my concealer. Oh, see, forgot. It's Morphe M501. It's like a big fluffy brush. Next I have bronzer, and this is the Hula bronzer from Benefit. This is what it looks like. It's just a nice natural brown. And I'm going to take this Morphe M530 fluffy brush, just dab a little bit, tap off the excess, and with a really light hand, go right in this crease of my cheek. And I kind of go from like tip of the ear halfway down and then I'm also going to highlight um, around my face so it's almost like again like a number three where the corner is here go the whole way down in and then around the jawline to just kind of sculpt your face next thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take a little brush that this came with dab a little bit on and go down the sides of my nose just to give it a little bit of dimension. Then I'm going to take this MAC brush. It's 116. It's a blush brush. And this is called Cheek to Chic from Charlotte Tilbury. And it is a shimmery blush with a highlighter in the middle. I kind of just mix the two. So like zhuzh it around. And then I go like right here an overly shape right above where we put that bronzer. Y'all, I can't really see. <laughs> I hope this looks okay. So I curl my lashes with this guy here. Just take the top lid. Do not poke your eye out. For some reason, I find it's more helpful for me to put the mascara on first. And then for me, my false lashes last longer too because you're not caking on 
all of that mascara each time you put them on. So I would do the mascara first. And I put it on my upper lashes and a little bit on my lower lashes too. Again, this is, <laughs> this is mascara from Buxom. It just says mascara. Now I use lashes from the brand Kiss and they're number 11 and they are my go-tos. They look really natural on. They're just one of those really great lashes that don't really look like a lash. It just is one of those ones that just enhances your look and doesn't distract. Recently, I think I've developed a, I don't know if it's like an allergy or a sensitivity to lash glue with like adhesive. So I found this one from Duo and it's the green one. I don't know, they have different colors. And this one says that it is latex and I think it's a formaldehyde free, which I think that's what causes like swelling on lids. So this is the first time I'm trying it. Let's hope it works. I feel like this is the hardest part of makeup is lashes. Oh jeez. Like an okay job. Wow, first try. Same thing on the other eye. Only I'm right-handed, so this is a lot harder. Round three, finally. Okay, lashes are really difficult, but see they just look, once you get them on, you're good. They look natural, fine. So I prep my lips with the MAC Prep and Prime. It's almost like a chapstick, I'm almost out. Okay, I really like this liner from MAC. It's called Oak. I'm gonna do first like my Cupid's bow here crisscross and I overline it a little bit just to enhance that I go more straight and angular on top but I don't really overline the bottom because my bottom lips pretty full as it is so I just do it a little bit on the top like so I'm gonna take this MAC lipstick called Kinda sexy. And it's just another like pretty nude color. So I have two that I really like. This one is White Russian from Buxom. And it's like a lip plumper, I think. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is undressed. And it's a really pretty nude. But what I like to do, oh. Let's try that again. Oh, can I not open it? <laughs> okay. So what I like to do is actually take a little bit on my finger and dab it on so you can control how much. That is pretty much the finished lip look. It's a very neutral, nice look and that's good especially if you have more of a dramatic eye on too. Last step, I'm gonna take out all of these pin curls, brush through my hair, style it, and we get it go. So first, I'm gonna take a vent brush. This is a wet brush. And I'm just gonna brush through everything. My natural part is on this side, but whenever I part my hair on the opposite side, it adds more volume to my bangs. So I am just going to create a little part, spray it a little bit, and I'll be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see what I do to get ready. Maybe you learned some tips, some tricks. I don't know. I'm not really a professional at all whatsoever. This is just, again, stuff that I do to get ready. And now I'm gonna go to the Miss Universe office, which is really super exciting. Wish me luck and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.